Thank you, Carlos. After 17 straight days of football, we finally have a two-day rest. So we came to here, Sukwa Keith, to find out what people are doing on their day off. Come with me, we'll find out. What are you gonna do on your day off from football? It's two days rest, no uh, soccer. Two days, yes. Uh, so two days off from the World Cup. So just to take an uh, around in the Qatar to see the the festival for the celebration of the World Cup. Okay. And what's your favorite place here in Qatar? Uh, place, I think this place is very good. And also yesterday we visit uh, uh, another place. It's uh, in Qataria or Lualua, uh, something like this. We have the first two days off from soccer after 17 straight days of football. What are you going to do today? Today I put my football jerseys in the washing machine, which is why I'm not wearing it today because I had my Argentina shirt on. And I'm actually now a little anxious about the quarterfinal. And I've been sitting on the resale platform trying to score a ticket because I'm so scared this might be Messi's last match. But yeah, I'm excited. So I am, we're, we're, we're taking a girl's time out, enjoying the souk. We do live here, but the vibe is just incredible right now. So we're enjoying this. And you said you live here. What's your favorite place in Qatar to visit? This is it. It is because it's it's um, it's just very immersive in, in how it represents the culture here. And you can, it, the heritage, the food, just it stays active. You can walk, the karak tea, you know, it's all there. So it's a great hangout. And can I ask you one last question? What food do you recommend to people to try out here? Oh, definitely. I think um, the Turkish food and the Lebanese food is really popular. Qatari food as well, the makbus, the meat and lamb, that is a classic. And of course, the hummus and shawarma you have to have. You have to go to a shawarma vendor and just do that for sure. Yeah. Okay, can I get it? I love Messi to the camera. I love Messi! <laughs> well, there you have it, Carlos. Now we know what people do on their day off from soccer. Back to you.